Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 97 of Let's FIFA 13 and I just want to start this uh, video off by saying thank you for the 150,000 subscribers hit it this morning and uh, yeah that is really really awesome and uh, uh, maybe a little bit later on today or tomorrow I'll have the kind of apartment tour video out in that occasion. Um, so yeah, we'll get around to that as well. But onto the gameplay here, um, you see me here selling on the old squad with Ribery and Robin. I did keep Ibrahimovic, however, however, because I wanted to make a squad with Ibrahimovic and Messi together on the striker spots because both of them scored a bunch of goals for me when I played with them and I wanted to see which one of the two would be the better striker for me. So uh, that's kind of the idea behind the squad. And then we picked up uh, a few players I haven't tried out before, some team of the season players as well. And that is kind of what it makes up the squad and Messi in the end there uh, for the striker spot alongside with Ibrahimovic. And we pick up uh, two uh, 4 one 2 one 2 formation modifiers just to get, get ev everyone on that 9 in chemistry. And that is uh, pretty much how the squad will look. On goal we have Sirigu. He's a decent keeper, sometimes he does some stupid stuff, sometimes he's remarkable in the net. Then we have Mangala as our first center back and he links up with Alexandro, uh, the inform, which I haven't used before, but he looks to have all round good stats. I wanted to try him out and see how he would perform. Uh, the other center back is the team of the season, Saho. His regular card is really, really good, so looking forward to trying out the team of the season card. And on the right back, we have the team of the season, Fanny, which is probably one of the best right backs on the game, in my opinion. Center defense mid, we do have we now do um, all round good stats, high defense work rate, medium attacking work rate, a uh, very very solid player there. Left mid we do have Lavetsi, 4 star skills, a lot of pace, good dribbling on him and he actually have a quite cracking, you know, quite good shot on him. Right mid, the inform Lamella, uh, center attacking mid uh, Pastoria, I do not believe I've used him before but he's actually quite good the few games I've played with him so far. 4 star skills, he feels quite strong on the ball and then for the striker spot Ibrahim which with the 5 star skills and Lionel Messi with that deadly left foot and we'll see uh, which one of the two on the on the striker spot will get the most goals while I play with this team. Uh, I'm not too sure yet because Messi despite not ha having the 5 star skills he seems to get a lot of goals. But but nonetheless, we head on into a game and we do actually uh, play with our other squad just to get the fitness up. And the first chance it falls to Samuel Eto'o and there was not a lot of power on that weak foot shot. But somehow it did go into the back of the net to make it 1-0. And we continue on here. It's Bale trying out a shot but it is blocked. And uh, a few minutes later he makes a bit of a mistake trying to skill in the defense. And in the end I pick the ball up and I will uh, make it a 2-0. Giving me that comfortable lead and we continue on to wrap here a little bit bit of a nice skill run making its way into the box we take the shot but unlucky to hit the bar and Casola there with a terrible header but he was offside nonetheless so wouldn't really have counted anyways but into the second half we keep on creating those chances we hit the post there and he will save the rebound shot and then in the 76 minute it is Terab once again on the ball and he had a really really good game making his way into the box here we try out the shot and once again denied but Bale he will get a goal here lovely little skill run there and he hits it in to the top corner and after that my opponent did decide to rage quit so uh, yeah we win the game there and I believe we move on through into the next round of the cup but as you can see, uh, he, see here on the stats he probably did deserve to get a goal or two because he had a bit of pressure on me but I was lucky enough to to get that two goal lead and be able to kind of control the game but after the game we go out uh, we pick up a squad morale and then we head on into the semi-finals of the gold cup and uh, we'll come up against an opponent which is which does not, well he has an alright team but uh, a few players there not getting the perfect chemistry for example Lavetsi on the left mid there and uh, I thought I would have a pretty good chance in the game and I create my first chance there but it is saved and by his key but a few minutes later we find Lavetsi but it is saved once again but Lavetsi getting on the ball here in the 16th minute going past the key but lovely little skill there and we make it 1-0 and pretty much straight after that he actually decided to raid Squid so I'm through into the final of the, of the gold cup and I'll have to chance to, to pick up that trophy with the new squad we just built and this game was going to be quite interesting and yeah you'll see why so yeah we get into the game here and it will be the final game of this episode and uh, the squad we come up against is a team which doesn't really have the best chemistry um, 
and it gave me an idea I would be able to create a few chances in the game and Pastor here getting the game started here with a few skill moves we try out this shot and it's Slatan on the rebound and getting the first goal and he has now scored one goal more than Messi basically and uh, yeah Lavezzi once again on the ball he will cross it in and we find Pastor will head it on goal we pick up the ball with Ibrahimovic here and a little ball roller fake and drag back and in the end we actually pick up a penalty I'd say it was quite lucky to get it I felt the defender got onto the ball but nonetheless Slatan scores my hundred with penalty and uh, he have now gotten two goals for himself and straight from kickoff we pick it up we try for the fancy finish but his keeper will get it back and save it and instead my opponent gets back into the game here and um, my he hit me on a counter attack and I couldn't really defend it so 2-1 it was but we continue on here Lavezzi once again on the ball and look at that shot a lovely goal there to make it a free one but then Messi wanted to be a part uh, of the show as well he wanted to get on the score sh uh, scoreboard here and he gets a goal uh, and he's now one goal behind Slatan in kind of the the goal race I don't know don't know who will score the most if we should set like a goal uh, like a certain amount of goals we should see who gets first but nonetheless Slatan picking up another goal here straight from kickoff in the first half lovely skill run there to to make it a 5-1 and we continue on here it's Messi on the ball and he will get another goal for himself as well to make it a 6-1 so as you can see those two players on the top yeah look at the shot there from Slatan. he had actually let go of his controller at that point and a few minutes later he just decided to yeah, rush out his keeper and will pick the ball up with Messi and he will complete his hat trick as well so four goals from Slatan, a hat trick for Messi and after that yeah, he just started scoring own goals, and that was pretty much the end of the game and the end of this episode, guys. Um, I'll try and have the kind of house to apartment to a video out either later today or uh, tomorrow, something like that. And uh, yeah, university is back on track, so it's going to be a little bit busy, um, yeah the upcoming months as I mentioned in yesterday's video but still we'll try and finish off less FIFA 13 throughout this week episode 100 will either be uh, Friday or Saturday I'll have to figure that out and that is pretty much all guys I hope you enjoyed the video and that's all thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later <laughs>